sit down. Our topic today says honesty. What do I say? Honesty. Again? Honesty. So who can tell me the meaning of honesty? I am. It means to be truthful. Yes, clap for us. Have your seat. Now, who can spell honesty? Yes, John. H O N E S T Y, honesty. Again, H O N E S T Y, honesty. Clap for him. Now, honesty means to be truthful. When, even if it is hard to do, sometimes honesty comes with punishment. But it is that it is good to bear than to tell lies. As good children, you should be truthful. For example, an honest person that return other people belongings yes. when he or she sees them. Yes. An honest person, an honest person does not cheat people. An honest person does not cheat on in an exam hall. I hope you understand. Yes, ma. Are you sure? Yes, ma. Do you have any question? No, ma. So let me ask you mine. Does an honest person return to that people belong is when he or she sees them? No. Yes, ma. Does an honest person cheat in an exam hall? No, ma. Clap for yourself. Remember to come to school early. See you tomorrow. What's the time? 7.30. Again? 7.30. Class dismissed. Away. I enjoy sitting to you and me, I always try my best to always say the truth. Me too, I enjoy what the teacher taught us today. But it's not every time you say the truth because if you say, sometimes if you say the truth, you receive punishment. Like the other day, my mother served me food without putting meat inside. When she went down, I went to the pot and took a piece of meat for myself. Then, when she came back, she asked me for the meat. I refused to talk because if I talk, she will flog me. Instead, she flogged everybody. See? She made us flog everybody. Instead, she's supposed to say, Me, no. I do not like punishment. Anyway, hi. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, who is there? Emeka, are you there? Hello, hello, Emeka, are you there? Emeka, Emeka, Lisa, 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 oh, it did not hear me now. That microphone is not stuck.
Above all, unemployment is the order of the day. When those who are not in school see the life of some classmates, they get discouraged and see no reason to have further education. They prefer doing minimal jobs to earn them their daily bread. Education, but without education, one cannot be respected in a society. Education changes your orientation and habits. It makes one time conscious and money management. It prepares us for future responsibilities and social skills, and discipline and social skills. Uh, in conclusion, parents should sacrifice and never get discouraged to send their children to school so that at their own age, when they can no longer walk or feed themselves, their children will play that role. Thanks. Yes, continue. I don't know if you heard the last comment that my daughter just said. He said, if you adequately treat your, train your children, that you will never lose anything in them. Rather, you have built another empire for yourself. Because by the time you are getting old, that child which you have trained will take care of you. So please, no matter whatever you have invested in these children, it's not a waste in any form, even though it is hard. You know, climbing a step is always hard. But by the time you be coming down, you will always glorify God. And I pray that whatever investment you are making on these children shall never be in vain in the name of Jesus. My name is Success Odaka. I'm here to talk on the topic which says the internet safety. The internet can be a wonderful place to learn, shop, play games, and talk to your friends, family, and relatives. Unfortunately, there are projectors, identity thieves, and other online who may try to act. Children are sometimes specifically targeted by cyber bullies or projectors. There is also a possibility of cyber bullying or cyber harassment from other online. If you are a parent or guide, you can help to keep your children safe by talking to them about the proper way of using the internet, teaching them about online dangers so that they can make smart decisions online. Thanks. We have listened to her. It is always going to be safe in all aspects of life. The other one has also explained to us the need for safety in anything you do, avoid dangers. Now, this one is talking about internet dangers, so please avoid them so that you don't run into any problem. Thank you very much for that wonderful presentation. So, Mrs. Aja. So that uh, she can help us to answer the second part of this presentation. All the graduates, please get seated. Magic show, magic show, magic show. 